As you may already know, Dev Extreme Diagram for Angular, jQuery, React, and Vue allows you to create diagrams, flowcharts, and org charts with absolute ease. It includes a fully integrated diagram designer and ships with a comprehensive shape library, including business-related, technical, and multi-purpose shape types. In this video, I'll discuss UI enhancements we've introduced in our version 20.1 release cycle, enhancements that improve the overall usability of the diagram control. As you'll soon see, your end users can now edit diagram elements much more easily on mobile and small touchscreen devices. First things first, let me quickly review the diagram control's primary UI elements. Number one is the controls property panel. Once you click the floating action panel, the control displays its properties panel at the bottom right of the control. The properties panel includes multiple tabs with options to help modify diagram elements and page properties. Let me go to the style tab and apply a change to this sample org chart. I'll select Francisco and apply a bold font effect to this particular shape. Super easy. Number two is the history toolbar. This toolbar allows you to undo and redo actions against diagram elements. Number three is the controls toolbox. This panel is displayed on the left side of the control. It displays a list of available shapes organized into individual groups. End users can select the desired shape and drag it onto the diagram designer as needed. Also note that our diagram toolbox includes a search box to help users quickly locate the desired built-in shape. And yes, you can create custom shapes should your business needs require it. Number four is the controls view toolbar. This toolbar is displayed on the lower left and includes options to modify diagram view settings such as zoom, full screen, and simple view. It also includes a file export command and designer-related settings. Two more UI elements of note. First, the context menu. It's displayed whenever an end user right-clicks a specific diagram element. As you can see here, context menu items change based on element type and state. Finally, our main toolbar. It includes basic diagram element editing options. This toolbar is hidden by default. To display it, I'll need to set the main toolbar option in code. Let me go ahead and do that now. I'll set main toolbar to true, and I'll hide both the properties panel and the history toolbar. The reason I hid the properties panel and the history toolbar is because commands available in the properties panel and history toolbar are available on the main toolbar. If you prefer a more traditional user experience, feel free to use the main toolbar instead of the properties panel and history toolbar. Okay, with that overview, let's take a look at our adaptability demo and see how our diagram control behaves on a mobile device. This demo will help demonstrate the UI enhancements made to the diagram control in our version 20.1 release cycle. First things first, notice that once invoked, the properties panel is automatically docked to the bottom of the diagram. This is done to maximize use of screen real estate. Since we're short on screen space, our adaptability demo hides the diagram controls toolbox by default. To display the toolbox, I simply click the Show Toolbox button on the History toolbar. Once clicked, the toolbox slides out automatically. To hide it, I can press the Hide Toolbox button. Notice that we've done everything possible to make maximum use of available screen space. For instance, only a single tool or toolbar can be displayed when the diagram is rendered on a small screen or mobile device. In addition to the changes I've just described, we've also overhauled the controls context menu for those using touch screen devices. Let me open this demo using Chrome's emulator to explain what I mean. On a touch screen device, the context menu is displayed when a user taps on a shape or a connector. When a shape or connector is tapped on a touch screen device, we no longer display a traditional menu. In version 20.1, the context menu was replaced with a mini toolbar. All appropriate actions such as cut, copy, paste, delete, select all, and lock actions are now accessible from the toolbar itself. Okay, before I wrap up, let me run our linear array demo and show you a couple of additional UI enhancements. First, version 20.1 includes what we're calling a context toolbox. 
Let me select the network admin shape and draw a connector to demonstrate. Once I draw my connector, our diagram control automatically displays its floating context toolbox on a screen. As you can see, this floating toolbox appears where the action is. The user can draw shapes and connectors without moving the pointing device to our primary toolbox. This saves time, increases productivity, and improves usability. Finally, the DevExtreme diagram now supports two additional line types. In addition to a solid line, end users can now add dash and dot lines to objects displayed within the diagram. Let me go ahead and apply a dot line to the network admin shape and apply a dash line to a connector to demonstrate. Very cool. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this overview on our Diagram Control's newest features. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and post your comments or questions below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for access to more great DevExpress videos. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.